home produced versus new old stock commercially produced, which is going to be better? Let's crack on. Welcome to another Mr. Beats Bike video, and this one's a little bit different insofar as we're going to compare the calibration cassette I was using for the personal stereo um, tests and checks and teardowns and whatever against a commercially available, commercially produced, um, a new old stock cassette, uh, Bought of AliExpress. Uh, cost wise, this is about £17, this was about £80. Uh, but the main reason I had this is because these were incredibly expensive. Um, they're over £200 going back. So, yeah, I just couldn't really justify it at the time. And I thought, well, I've got a constant, even if it's not perfect. And the listing reckoned it would be pretty perfect. So I thought, well, yeah, let's go for it. But now I've got this, I'd be interested to compare the two. So um, I'll just cut to running through... Um, the listings and uh, just how good each one is and uh, then we'll give them a test. So the first one's the Home Produce cassette which you can see there I bought for £14.52 plus postage so it took it up to about £17 uh, and um, yeah it's a standard Maxell UR cassette UR90 um, calibration setup speed azimuth calibration setup cassette um, and they've all been recorded on a Nakamichi ZX7, uh, which is fully serviced and calibrated uh, using a professional setup and original Nakamichi test tapes. Uh, and it has also been checked uh, for um, how good the actual end product is using a quartz locked Sony deck. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's saying all the right things really for, for a half decent or decent uh, home produced cassette um, so the tone speeds are very accurate measuring lower than 0.04 wow and flutter so it'd be quite interesting to see what we do find so the abex cassette from aliexpress um, this was um, i think i paid about 79 pounds for it it's now 82 pounds 20 but look at the shipping on that 27.94 <laughs> i don't think so but uh it is what seems to be a genuine cassette, genuinely produced, uh, made in Japan. So yeah, let's compare them. Let's just see how good the cheap one is. So I have to say over all the, um, all the comments that I had on those, only one person actually mentioned that it might be worth getting a proper calibration cassette. That's actually V Westlife. So thank you very much V Westlife. And it was something that was on my mind right the way through. It's just how good is this cassette? So let's give it a test and uh, so let's just start it. So I'm testing this on a Sony TCK uh, 661S and uh, this is a fairly original deck. Uh, I don't know how old the belts are in it. The pin troller has had a clean, uh, tape path clean, and I've run a cassette in it for s several hours actually, just to make sure that it's giving the best performance possible. And you can see it's not looking too bad. It's a little bit on the slow side, um, but uh, yeah, on the point four, we're sort of about point one five percent um wow well, flutter so yeah that's that's interesting uh argue you could argue it's not that great so let's just eject that and put this cassette in so Now you can see there, I've got quite quite a bit of fluctuation on the uh, 
level there, which is interesting. But the wow flutter well immediately the speed I mean you can see the speed is actually just that little bit faster um, I mean it's pretty much you wouldn't know that that was sort of a tiny bit fast it's not really decipherable it's so small uh, sort of a bit surprised at the way I'm flutter but it is lower um, we're sort of looking at 0.1 I oh, went below 0.1 there for a second so Yeah, so let's stop that. Just put this one back in. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. The speed is different. Uh, so I probably wouldn't, I would probably trust this cassette more than I trust this cassette. Uh, there is definitely more wound flutter with this cassette. Did tapping it make a difference? Yeah, it did. Or did it? I think it might be in fluke. But yeah, I mean, this deck, this deck needs a service really. But it's fun to just test a deck that sort of, if you like, off the shelf to see how well it performs. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. The way I'm flustered with this cassette is just that little bit lower. And that really does suggest that this cassette is not really a very fair indication of the performance of your deck if you're going to calibrate it. Um, it will do. But that speed difference is significant enough, I think, to make it worth spending the extra on that. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this deck does really need a service. Okay, so I've just brought the level up a little bit because I I was a bit concerned that might be just slightly skewing it. It's made no difference whatsoever, uh, to be fair. So that's the Abex cassette. And it is, it's sort of about 0.1, which is okay. I mean, it goes below that uh, quite often. And for an unsurfaced service deck, or not recently serviced anyway, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, I mean, I was listening to music on it and it, it sounded absolutely fine. Uh, 
There we go. Just wait for it to go settle down. But there is that there is just that extra bit of wow and flutter with this cassette. And whether that's the machine it's on, uh, it's it's using um they've used a Nakamichi ZX7. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Recently calibrated. But um it's all kit at the end of the day. It's I mean at the end of the day, it's it's how you justify it. Um how you justify spending your money is sort of like under twenty quid. Um worth it as opposed to like whatever this goes for because the price changes all the time um but at the end of the day you know exactly what you're getting with this it would seem anyway you know it's it seems a very genuine cassette whereas this one you're slightly sort of relying on the tape stock and the recording equipment um which hasn't been cali isn't calibrated every time so this looking at the quasi peak uh one f uh point one four eight eight with the abex cassette And then with the, the home produced one, 0.169817115. It just seems to be a little bit more wow and flutter with this cassette, uh, as opposed to the Abex one. Just swap it over again. Obviously that's a 10 second sample. So obviously as soon as I press play, Let's wait for it to settle. Yeah, as soon as you press play, it sort of throws it. So you've got to wait like the 10 seconds for it to settle. As it gets the average. Yeah, so it's dropping down. Yeah, you see, it's just that little bit better. 0.1214. But overall, it's reading low wow and flutter using the proper cassette over the home produced. So I would say um, this will do the job, but this is the way to go. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, I mean, obviously, make your own mind up given what you've seen from the wow and flutter um readings uh but uh yeah interesting stuff so with that thank you very much for watching um relatively short video this week but uh just thought it'd be interesting just to compare so uh yeah hopefully see you in another video bye for now